And welcome back. This is Kotel. Hope everybody's having a good evening, as it is nighttime, apparently. And it is nighttime, definitely, for my guest. Mr. Parker, how are you, good sir? I'm I'm very well. Uh, I'd just like to reassure all the viewers looking at your screen right now, you have, in fact, not gone blind. This is intentional, and uh, it's going to be very dark, and we will do our best, I'm sure. <laughs> yep, I will be hitting the uh, right mouse button. Uh, button? Jesus. Button? Um, quite often here, so we can see the positions of the units at the very least here. But as you can see, it is a night battle. Um, on the uh, big board, this is right next to the previous battle, um, southeast of Williamsburg, in the central fork of the peninsula, between the York and James River. And it is Magruder's division attacking Richardson's. Richardson's? Jesus Christ, man. We're starting out well. All right. But, so, Mr. Parker here for Anderson's, um... What do you think, uh, what have you often seen with this type of map? What do you, what do you uh, think we might see tonight? Especially given the night. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I can't tell you a time I've ever played this map on such low visibility. Um, what I do know from playing it, uh, the times when I can see in front of me, more than 20 feet. Uh, <laughs> it's that normally, uh, especially European side, I always say forget the right side of this map. I think you, it's too easy to get kind of caught out um, by uh, kind of like the half stone meets like an intersection. It's kind of like a T-shape on the uh, eastern side. Um, and I would hold some kind of defensive ring either in the forest or on the edge of the forest in a rough L shape. Kind of the L protruding into the forest and then the, uh, as in like the foot of the L and then the remaining kind of uh, tail chewing up along the edge of the woods, even towards the point. Um, and then you react as needed. We did that recently in, in historical rules event and it worked incredibly well. Um, but yeah, I would try and avoid getting strung out because I believe every CSA unit has access to buck and ball on this map, and they will beat you in a one-on-one. -on -one. So you need to try and you need to try and force a couple concentrated fires where you're able to pick off a unit with rifle fire and uh, and do a little bit of praying as well. I won't lie to you. <laughs> well, you know it is nighttime, so they get their evening prayers, and you know off they go. It is raining too, so they'll be they'll have a fun time with that. Um, yeah, and for the uh, CSA, um. You think they need to change up their strategy at all, or just kind of use that bucket ball and leverage that uh, additional firepower they got at close range? Yeah, I mean, whenever a unit has bucket ball, I think your your priority should be getting to an engagement distance within a hundred yards, and the closer the better is is generally the uh, is the logic. Um, where they're going to the hard left now, the CSA, they're going to pretty quickly find well. There's pretty much nothing there, certainly nothing at a reasonable range to shoot. Um, so I think the hard right would be better for them. Um, and yeah, get into buck and ball range. Honestly, set up some firing lines and start volleying, and I think you'll you'll see the uh, the ticket bar uh, slowly go in their favour. Looks like we got Viking coming up. He's going to be the first unit to I think hit this see it, this ah, union line here. I hope you stop it again. It's a, it's you know what he, he I'm over his shoulder now. You can see almost nothing, and I think he's about to realise that as he runs into Hood's division here. Yeah, I think this might change this map up. Kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it'll have a major effect, but. This has the potential, I think, to change it up. Oh my. That was a very uh, enthusiastic fire command there. Right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're right it's on top of the, now, the gunshots boys. are what's lighting up this map now. <laughs> so, it's like lighting a candle that extinguishes instantly, but at least you do get a moment to see. Wilkes is going straight in as well, oh my. Move, I'm trying to get back to my brother. Oh, I say Wilkes is going straight in. I think HL's a little bit splintered here. Yeah, I think the, uh, well, this was what I was thinking. The Knights might throw this off a little bit here. Let's go, let's go, go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 The rest of HO is arriving, but about 20 seconds late. I don't know if they got confused in the night time as much as the Union did, to be honest. Yeah, well, now we got a full charge by the CSA. Looks like they were able to defeat that uh, Union line without too much trouble. I think the Union's in danger of getting defeated in detail here, unfortunately for them. Good lord, it is hard to see, though. Take aim! Go, 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 go
Oh, we got some additional charges here. What do you think about the aggression we're seeing right now from the uh, CSA, Parker? Uh, uh, in low visibility, buck and ball, bayonet, close range combat, that has to favor CSA in the long run, I think. As long as they don't get a bit carried away and do things individually, um, without, you know, the access to that Steam chat and whatnot, then, yeah, that, that has to favor them. Do you think, like, quick, violent attacks, but not really getting too strung out? I mean, if they move with entire companies, as in in-game companies worth of men on any given Union unit, then I think they'll win the ticket battle, and probably the overall battle, to be honest, as well. So, keep uh, closing the distance, unleash some buck and ball. I mean, the, the sheer the sheer volume of fire from buck and ball beats most units, and uh, yeah, I think they'll whittle them down pretty quickly. <sighs> Yeah, I, I think I agree, and I'm looking at these tickets. CSA's already taking a pretty good advantage here in Union. We're at 38-30, and I don't know. Think, do you think we call that halfway down in Mario State? Uh, I'd say just over, but yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much at that point. Yeah, it'll be halfway when it kind of just goes past the arc. We got it. Certainly, uh, certainly bleeding. That's for sure. You're good. You're good. You know, I, I, I wonder, you know, this is me just kind of throwing stuff out here. I wonder if the Union should try a more mobile defense on this and just, you know, kind of disperse, uh, you know, hit in the woods and kind of scatter. Just try to uh, draw the CSA into uh, random directions and get them to deconsolidate, so to speak, for uh, Mr. Wilkes. <laughs> to deconsolidate, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It's the, the nighttime dynamic makes this so interesting because in the woods, of course, the visibility is even lower still. Um, maybe that favors the USA doing kind of what they're doing here at the top of the um, at the top of the point or just off of the point of contention. Um, in the woods, I suppose would you would argue is where they're more likely to get jumped. And if you get jumped, then you're going to lose tickets in the melee as defenders pretty badly. So that is maybe yeah, that is very true. Yeah. Flying off the back foot, I, I, I always hate that. If, <laughs> you've probably heard me in, in game a few times uh, saying that, but maybe flying off the back foot isn't such a bad thing for this uh, specific uh, context and scenario. Yeah, this map is so hard for the defender too, especially when you can't get the artillery back. You know, and you don't have like, you know, additional restrictions like, you know, HRE with the 30 minute. I think the 30 minute timer makes it a little bit slightly easier, I would say, for the Union. But even then, it's still a tough map. Well, you can see, like, the CSA right now is going super, you know, they're kind of looking for the enemy. They're kind of, you know, groping and feeling. So they try to waste time. Some Parker maneuvers, you know? You know kind of <laughs> get behind, hit them, and run away type of thing. Blood behind a truck. Yeah, as, as a defender, it's always uh, it's a hard question if you've either got to defend your, your, your tickets well enough that you don't go down to breaking and, dare I say, last stand, or you've got to outkill the enemy at a rate that forces a final push. And on this map, that's... Oh, man, I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a tall ass. Well, I'm saying that, IB is definitely trying to force that final push with this charge done on the skirmishes of the MSG. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> I wonder how much they can even see now that the MSG's into the woods. I, I imagine it's just shadows now. It's Yeah, I, I, I'm not... I mean, I'll stay with them for a second see if I see it on the shop. I don't even think they can see him anymore. I'm, I'm kind of peering over their shoulders, and it's literally just f flicks of movement through the bushes. Like, it's it's kind of crazy, to be honest. Check, 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 check. All of a sudden, we have a guerrilla war on our, on our oh, hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking, uh, you know... Trees are speaking. Dixie. Yeah. <laughs> EB and JD are literally, what, 20 yards away here? Oh my, oh my. Dude, don't press T. Yeah, they are. Wow. It's funny, did you hear one of the guys there saying, whatever you do, don't press T, because they press T, and I imagine all the uh, the HUD elements on your screen is actually making it harder to see because of the contrast of how light it is. Oh, so that's quite that's funny a, to hear that. that. Is, yeah, I didn't even think of that, but yeah, that's absolutely probably true. Yeah. EB is pretty much eliminated there, though. The, uh, the buffer right, really done the work up close. Yeah, I don't even think they've really had to aim, to be honest with you. They're just gonna, like, shoot in this general direction. Let's go, boys. 
Absolutely. So Union's behind on tickets at the moment. Um, yeah, it's not... I don't, I don't know. They're kind of forming this defensive line out in the middle of this field. Maybe to get more visibility? I'm not quite sure. What do you think they're trying to do here? I, I presume so. Yeah, I mean... CSA did almost cap the point there. I would have argued that would be a silly time to cap, so maybe they didn't need to flood down to the point for that reason. But if it was in order to actually see their uh, their enemy, their opposition, then I suppose that, that does make sense. Um, as long as the CSA is as far back as the woods are maybe a bit deeper, then the, the effect of Buckingham is just a little bit more manageable. Of course, the suppression is still intense, but at least the, the, the pure damage of it is a little lower, so... Yeah, no, I don't. I don't hate it. It's it's definitely uncharted territory, to be honest. Which is why I'm I'm struggling to work out exactly what they should do here. But I think this is definitely a a good option. No, I think yeah, they can keep the CSA bottled up. I'm trying to see if it's making much of a ticket difference. Um, it's not. It's not worse. I I can say that. I think the moment a CSA unit projects itself just a little too far, maybe this CSA unit coming into the uh, northwest side of point. That might be where we start seeing a little bit of uh, a positive effect of this kind of formation. Although that said, if they keep wrapping around right, then they're actually going to thank this Union unit on point. So maybe not so much, but uh, they are definitely using the woods to cover them. Because I can, I'm standing over the shoulder of Brutish right now, and I can see almost nothing, just just movements and shadows again. Well, we do have the Parker Brigade at the far right hand side here. So you know we got W Parker here, M Parker, D Parker. Another D Parker. A lot of D Parkers here. Yeah, the David name is strong in the Parker the Parker cohort. Oh, was that um, what it was? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Davids and the Dads, we like to call them. Uh, yeah, they're strong boys. Daniels? Ah. <laughs> no Davises, of course. We're not so much a fan of the Davises. No, no, no. I would hope not. <laughs> not too many Jeffs either, you know. Yeah, yeah. They kind of get, you know. Throwing off a buff into the, you know, never mind. Just Moving on. <laughs> See, now you get yourself a trick. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. First Your last map Wilk. was me. Oh, Wilkes might be charging here. There's going to be a close engagement. Ninth Corps and Wilkes. I don't even know if Ninth Corps really saw him. You know, they almost ran past him there. Well, Second US is kind of just hanging out here. I don't, I, I don't know if Second US saw them. There's Rally Trooper. Now he's, now he's getting into it. I mean, this you know goes. What? They're almost next to each other, and they don't see him in some circumstances. I think it's almost hard to appreciate how bad the visibility is right now. No, I mean I'm kind of cheating with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the, the flag button, so I can kind of at least see where everybody is. Maybe I should turn that up. Well, then I can't see nothing. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, every now and again I just float down and let the uh, the hot elements disappear for a second, and it is actually something can move five feet in front of you, and unless you're pressing. Unless you're pressing T to maybe see a name in front of you and you hear the rustle, then yeah, you you probably you probably got no idea it's even it's even there. I see we got 30 second Ohio trying to clean up. There's a couple team kills right there. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, 30 Sticky seconds. Sticky gap has closed boys. a little there. Whoa. Oh my gosh, whoa, what happened whoa, there? Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, flashbang, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> what is, what is, what's happening? It's currently 2.27am and I did not appreciate no, that. No, no, my no, God. no. <laughs> I think God is Oh my God. goodness. I think they pissed off God. But, you know, with all that being said, I'm looking at the ticket balance. It hasn't really moved too much. Nice. I would say it's a little bit smaller. Which is good for Union, of course. Um, which is interesting. They 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 barely won that melee on that right side, and uh, I guess the guys on the left must be putting in a bit of work because even a barely winning defensive uh, melee normally is about level on tickets. So the guys on the left must be doing some some half decent shooting into the woods, I assume. No, and I think uh, maybe it could be that with the uh, the wall here and then crouching, CSA can't really identify their targets. Yeah. The bucket ball's not having the effect, like you said. It's interesting as well. You see the entirety of his division is crouching to load. In fact, the entirety of the... Uh, there's some other guys in, mixed in with that line as well, and they're alternating volleys and presumably not taking much hit... Not many hits back if they're crouching and the tickets aren't really moving, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with them for a little bit, see if I see too many going down. I, I, so far, I haven't seen many, but... 
Right, Union charge developing here with Ninth Corps. Brutish is approaching the JD line from the uh, southwest side. I don't know about a charge right now. That might throw the ticket bounce off quite a bit. About face! Charge from the Find us! Find us! Find us! Find us! Find us! Find us! There is a whole other group at the back. This AF Alabama and even the AB are right behind them too. That will yeah, probably know. sweep that up. No, they knocked that out pretty, pretty easily. I don't, I don't, I don't know about doing any of those. I think that works yeah. at cross purposes for the rest of this team strategy right now. Yeah, that was that was a that was a bit of a hit there, it's just to increase the ticket gap a little more again. I'm seeing in the server announcement there's trying to set the weather to a heavier rain. Check. Check. Uh, yeah, I think you can, um, I think you have to use the, uh, what you call it, the console commands to do it. Yeah, I'm wondering if they know the console command to do it instantly rather than the server setting, because the uh, console command would be instant. I might quickly DM Wilkes and see if I can, uh, yeah, help yeah. him out a little bit there. <laughs> oh, and as I say that, we no, have they, a crack they, of lightning and rain starting. There we go, they figure it, you see, all you gotta do is talk bad about them and they figure it out. If that isn't proof that the British are evil, I don't know what is. <laughs> hey, you know, the, the monarchists at least, we'll see. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Don't don't get us confused here. <laughs> hey, CBC, you got guys behind us. Oh, we got the Parker Brigade trying to hold off the uh, CBC here. Oh, that's a bit of a fight there. It's cavalry on cavalry. Oh, oh Private D. Parker, I appreciated your life, my friend, but uh, your life is now gone. Oh, W. Parker's still alive, though, to carry on your line. Oh, man. oh, I would run that flag out of there, Rally Trooper. Oh, my. You can't have it. This is mine. My flag. My flag. My flag. Toot is gonna sacrifice his life just to rally. I got it. I don't manage you, good job. Hey, Black. Not so much wet on Union, though. All of a sudden, we have a half morale bar advantage for CSA. Yeah, I think between wow. the ninth core and that other charge that just happened there. Because I'm not, I'm looking at the other line, and it's, it's still, I'm not seeing too much go down. I wonder how well this massive Union line on the Hearthstone knows about what's behind them, though, to the east. Oh, I just heard a guy say, hey, there's a line to the east. I, I think I should stop talking. <laughs> you really are, mean. you really are. <laughs> I'm going to get accused of, like, you know, passing information to the Union team here. So. I, I do not have a Twitch account, guys. I'm not streaming, I, I promise, all right? This is just coming he, come, he comes from the future, but it doesn't mean he's, you know... <laughs> My five hours ahead does not does not factor into that. I'm sure. <laughs> Interesting. Wilkes is going back into the woods rather than approach that Union line from the uh, from the exact rear. I would, I would have thought he would have moved up to those rocks in the field and yeah. really put some height on those skirmishes all crouching in front of him. Do you think he can't see them? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I assume he would hear them, maybe if he can't see them, but uh, I think he's going to end up clashing with these, uh, was it the 20th of the York on the corner here? Rather than uh, yeah, I think that's ID, yeah. Something of a, oh, they're all shifting down to medium. I was going to say something of a imbalance, but uh, maybe it will be more of a fight than they used to be. Alright, I think. It looks like EB went to medium. Online, independent. Independent fire. But I think this fight favors the CSA a little bit more, because I need to get that bucket ball going. Spread out, boys! Spread out, boys! They do have the cover of the caissons, which are notorious bullet magnets, so... Although I think there is probably more CSA anyway, so yeah, I think you're right. The CSA probably will edge this engagement, but... Uh... Well, the other... I mean, it's going to be tough for them to see, but the other CSA, they charge now. The Union's thinged out quite a bit on this wall. Yeah, that's true. The that big union line that was on the half stone now all of a sudden does not look so imposing or, or deadly. It's uh, in fact quite the opposite to be honest. It seems to be they're taking a few more casualties now, but the CSA has been able to move up and advance on them. You still have ninth core kind of as this thread out the woods. I don't think the woods are helping them at all now, though. I think, I think, is it Brutish leading? Yeah, Brutish yeah. should probably try and get more towards the main body of Union because he's kind of getting caught by himself out here. Which yeah, is I mean, if he if he does like a volley and scoot like this, like he's doing now, I don't hate it. I think that could work. He just can't get caught. Yeah, and that's the issue. Is I think in the woods with this low visibility, 
I don't think any unit or any any person should be uh, arrogant enough to assume they're never going to get caught. No, <laughs> I think it's, it's a matter it's, of time. Yeah, it's, so. it's a big risk. Yeah. There is two, three, even three units down here. You know, it it only takes all of them to say, you know what, we've had enough. <laughs> they just run at you, and uh, that's another whole bunch of tickets there. Oh, we got we got the Parker Brigade coming back in on this far right side here. Looks like they're going to try to. Oh, that's probably not a great idea to be charging that, but you never uh, know. You never know. Have faith. Have faith in your uh, progeny. Oh. Well, you're kin. Maybe day. we'll say kin. Maybe we'll say kin, not project. It, it, is, it is a sad day to see the the bloodline failing like this, but uh, I appreciate the endeavor. Hazard is coming in, though. Uh, as in Hood's division, Hazard days, of course. There's two hazards on there. No, no, yeah, field, just believe, not, so. not, not to, you know, confuse me anymore. <laughs> People <laughs> having the same goddamn day. Yeah, I believe uh, EV's led by a hazard as well, isn't he? Uh, they are, yeah. That's Patriot's the... leading, my bad. Patriot but, is uh, leading, but there is a hazard in EV as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Too many hazards. It's a hazard. Yeah, and actually, of right? course, there's a hazards battery as well. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh my! Yeah. Oh wow! That's 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 fun. That is fun. <laughs> yeah, who has it? But there is a hazards battery out there. So I'm like, fuck me, man. <laughs> you know what? It's almost like everybody should have a different name of war vice. I say, looking at about ten people could park on the field. There you go. You know, you know. <laughs> hey, get that flag up! Get that flag up! Just spawn. So it looks like the union did win that fight, and looking at the ticket balance. That was a pretty good win. They have closed it a tiny bit. Um, I mean, I, I guess the, the concern would be while they've closed the gap, they are still on the edge of taking losses with 22 on the clock. Interestingly, I'd say that is maybe not the pace I'd have expected from CSA. I'd expect them to be a bit lower by now, but uh, maybe the CSA is just playing a little more reserved on account of the night time too. So, oh, and then they yeah. had taken losses now. There we go. So, yeah, taking losses at 22, to your point, is not ideal this map. It's roughly what's that? Ten minutes in morale state. Yeah, that's that's not great. Twelve minutes in breaking. Yeah, because you start at forty-three, mm. so it's ten ten in morale state. So yeah. you hit breaking at twelve. This pace. And two, you know, two minutes for last stand. You know. Well, we're not done yet. No, oh, it's definitely not lost yet for Union. I think they can still, they can still, if they shore up a little bit, it's uh, it's by no means uh, well, lost cause maybe wrong, wrong vocabulary for this kind of uh, <laughs> context, but it's definitely not a lost cause, you know. Oh, jeez, uh, yeah, you know. I think it's always interesting on this map specifically. If you see where the CSA just were on that shot. Around about there is actually the edge of the point, um, or along the edge of the wood line. So you saw it tipping red, even though there was no CSA, quote unquote, on the point. Oh yeah, flags, that, right? I mean that's that's another problem I have with this map. I think the uh, point of contention. I would love for it to be, you know, kind of at the top of the hill, a little bit further back in towards the woods. Flag for Victorox. But um, yeah, with the where it's at and how big it is. On the, on it's the, so on hard to defend it. Oh my, Knight's made a good move here onto the flank of... I, I couldn't even tell you who it was, they're all dead now, but Knight has eliminated a unit that was defending. Oh, I completely missed that, yeah. I, I, I missed that. I'll be able to watch this victory, one at least. Victory, stick together. Body he's, system. He's, he's, Body system. Get, he's letting his pistol really talk to him, he has dropped, but he got a number of kills there. I think that's the old Lamat cycle that I've seen him use a couple times coming into play. Get that officer. There you go, there you go, Get him. There you go, there you go. He's going to knock him off, but it's going to cost the Union quite a bit to do it. Man, if JD comes in now, too. Yep, here they come. That should signal the end of that Union cohort in the edge of the stone wall there. Oh, my. They might have used the flag yet. Heck yeah, and that gives them a very good position to block off anything coming from Maine. Get off my stone fence, you fucking dirty yank. That is a key victory there. The rest of Hoods is charging in. I'd say a little late there, boys, but uh, I guess they've committed now. Yeah, I mean, you got to recover this position, but... Again, no, the I visibility. Mean, I don't know if they know how much is in front of them. Brutish is about to clash with some CSA as well, I think. There's going to be a number of small engagements across the field here, which yeah, it could doesn't be a big, really favor Union. No, it could be a big ticket drain, and the CSA is in a very good position to cap right now. 
I believe it was 22.30, they went down to taking losses, and they're already about a quarter or just over down in the last two two minutes, 30. So they're still on pace, the original pace, but uh, I don't know. That was a number of costly uh, decisions there for the Union. Yep. They, they have it, regained the stone wall, though. They do. They do. I think it was important for them to regain it. But uh... yeah, they it's just got moments they... like these that I think um, the uh, you can kind of see they've got two lines of defense right now, which are pretty much a hundred yards apart. You have this massive hoods line on the far right. You have the big union line on the uh, the other side of the half stone, and this is kind of what I was describing at the start when you asked me about um, defending Andersons. I think this is where it starts going wrong. When you try to defend the entire map, I think if you kind of like, oh, see, see, I should capture that. Oh my, I didn't even notice. But uh, defending this entire half stone wall stretch is just way too long. This way could be big. a big opportunity for the Union right now. They can re early get... recap, absolutely. If they can recap, recap very quickly while the CSA is all spread out, they could get all the way back to the top of taking losses very easily. If, if Hood's Division turns around right now and sprints to the point before the CSA line engages them, I don't think they're going to, but uh, in fact, they're probably going to get hit pretty right. hard now by Wilkes. Right. 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 Yeah. How about you keep our name out your motherfucking mouth? Right face, right face, let's go. Right face. They're on the left, they're on the left, they're on the left. Yeah, I don't know why the CSA capped there, to be honest. I'm trying to figure out what was the, uh, I guess maybe drag the Union out, but... Yeah, they're, they're obviously, uh, a, they've always been a good hey, amount Jean, of... Let's go, five, regulars! I should say, for five or ten minutes. They've been a good amount ahead on tickets, so... Hey, maybe some board considerations coming in with manpower as well, trying to close the game earlier, because they have been winning most of the engagements, so... Maybe they have faith that they can hold the point and, and get a bit of a quicker win here. Uh, you might be right on that, yep. I mean, so far the Union is not retaking points, so... Not even nearly. You can see that CSA line on the edge of the woods and by the log piles, which is completely thwarting the effort of, uh, I think it's Brutish. Yeah, Brutish down here to, to get the cap back. It's not even moving, in fact, which means CSA obviously has way more people on the point. So... No, there's way too much of the Union not on point, not contesting it right now. You can see EB and uh, the IB small group on the far north side, which are kind of going around the back route to get onto point. Uh, I'd, I'd think the best thing they can do right now is stack on as well and really get yep. his cap back Well, there they, ASAP. Right. Yeah, there they go. Now they're starting to get it back. I see other Union elements, though, not on point, which frustrates me. Absolutely. Oh, it's your boys too, Parker. Oh, my. There's going to be a lot of children getting disowned tonight. Okay. You have top E's flag? Got discipline, man. Get that. Yeah, absolutely. Where's my power? Hold on. Okay. Okay. They're behind me. They're staring at me. Yes, Koto of War of Rights does not condone. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> the opinions expressed by Mr. Parker are his own. They do not reflect the official position of Koto or anyone associated with his channel. Absolutely. I also do not speak on behalf of His Majesty's government or or uh, or authority. Um, my views are my own, and uh, yes. So this is not for attribution. <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, the, the, these are the moments I get frustrated at. I see this a lot in events that I play. You can see Union is holding behind on the rocks, going to the far right. You just need help right now. You need everybody on the point, and you can see a lot of the CSA is way too far away to make a difference. They're still by their spawn area. No, you could you could absolutely retake this point as a Union right now. Everybody moved on to it, but people are happy, and I'll take my shots from my nice position. Yeah, they just need to. I know it sucks, but sometimes you have to just forget about leading your unit into the spots you want to be for the sake of the entire team, because that CSA force from the woods by spawn is going to hit point as soon as they get onto the edge of those woods again. About where Pacifus is right now. That is the edge of the point, I believe, and you'll see it probably slowly starts... Uh, uh, the, the rate of the cap might start slowing once they move up again. shooting, boys, only a little bit more. Yep. Don't stop! Knees, you really gotta, knees you gotta do it quick, you gotta take advantage. Low. Loops hey, and Pacifus are actually charging in, so this could get this could get bloody. All that stuff right there. Well, I mean, they are uh, ahead on tickets, so there's really no reason not to be aggressive right now. Because even if the Union wins the points, you don't want to give them uh, that extra. Absolutely. 
Wow. They are still getting the cap, so credit to Union family. Enough people there. I am concerned by that large body of uh, under Viking. If they came in now, that might make the difference with uh, fresh loads and, and charged out this uh, unit lynch uh, kind of like. Yeah, and he know. could hit from a very dangerous angle too. And yeah, they're starting to make some damage here. Going back to CSA again. Break those reloads, form it up. That's all Yankee in front of us. Shoot him. Over here, Lasagna. You also have, who is this? JD. See, they move behind. That is the edge of the point as well, I should add. That rock position is point. It looks yep. far away, but that is on point too. So they are actually actively helping. Yep. Absolutely. That said, Union is holding, and they're retaking it. I don't know, do you charge, him, do you charge out one of these positions right now, or you just hold what you got, do you think? Uh, as the Union is that, or the CSO? As the Union. So I think as the Union, it's one of those moments where we, we always say about the more you kill, the less tickets you get back. It might be worth... As silly as it sounds, stop shooting for a second here. <laughs> and uh, just for the last 20, get a few more tickets back, then full retreat out. Because uh, if they charge out that CSA unit now, they're going to be close to taking losses by the time they get the tickets back. Yep, now uh, look at how much they've lost here. They were at the top of taking losses here. Now the Union will retake point here, but look how close they are to breaking. And they're still charging forward. Oh my. There's a large CSA body coming they're, out. They're, they're going well. to run right into the CSA reinforcements here. And may very well go into breaking with this charge here. Uh, nice defenders, a few tickets less. This is going to really hurt now. Yeah, I, I don't think I agree with this. I think they get a little bit too. Uh... I mean, they'll win the fight, but, you know, at what cost? Absolutely. Yep. CSA's got 18 minutes, so they can just sit back and, all right, we'll shoot you for the next, you know, 15 minutes here. Absolutely. 18 minutes for Union on breaking, pretty much. In fact, it's going to tick over any minute now, because that melee is still ongoing. That's plenty of time. In fact, they've, in fact, if you think about how much time they've caught up there, what was it, 12 minutes of breaking was expected, I think? Yes, that was the expectation. Yeah, so CSA's caught up, or in, at least increased their pace by about six, well, they're not quite in breaking yet. About five minutes thirty, let's call it. Yeah, That's yeah. Well, I think pretty significant. I think five minutes is, is fair. Yeah. Especially I see guys wandering forward here. Fuck you, you goddamn Yankee. Out of line. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, you see a guy just type in chat. Don't get complacent now. I think that's a very apt conclusion. You are ahead, but that is not ahead by any margin, and not ahead with any significant amount of time left either. No, I mean it's you know technically you're ahead, but. Now you got to play the defend point as prompts. Yeah, you you can't. That whole that whole point of contention now is, and that's breaking now. That whole point of contention is now, the uh, the be all and end all. There's no more defending of the woods to conserve tickets. There's now only, we can't leave the point entirely. Yep, and that 17 minutes is a long time. So from the CSA's perspective, what do you think they should be doing right now? Um, I, I would, I would suggest, uh, another hard push through the right. And, uh, I think if you look at the, the gap between the edge of the woods and the point, what's the shortest gap, right? Because their advantage so far has been either in melee or when they get up close with the buck and ball. And the shortest gap between the edge of the union line and the woods is on the hard left of the union by that log pile. I think if they do a really heavy push through there, pop out and start unloading buck and ball down the line, that would be best. If they do the other flank, well, the Union will actually have a just maybe extra 10 to 15 seconds to see it and maybe react to it. So I would try and roll up the Union's left via the CSA right, which is completely obscured by the trees, as we know, as we've seen already as well. And uh, yeah, try and turn the pressure up just a little bit. I think they should try and get them... Well, if they're not going to go for the breaking cap, they should really try and get a last stand by about maybe six minutes, seven minutes. And then that leaves enough time for maybe a bit of a less well thought out but aggressive strategy of just rush, rush, rush. Yeah, I would agree. And that, I mean, that they've been able to do a 10 minute pace fairly consistently. So I think that's eminently achievable, especially now that the Union can't use the same round of covers it did previously. But it looks like they're going to focus the uh, Union right. That is an interesting avenue of attack from 14th. Obviously, there is quite a thin defense, so they will get some kills through them, but uh, it won't be a winning attack, that's for sure, especially where the rest of their friendlies appear to be holding back. Actually, some guys holding on the woods, and Wilkes is 
20 seconds behind them as well. That's uh, a little bit of a staggered attack. Oh, oh no, BB is. Oh god. Oh. They are a little bit far forward. In this that case, on here, regulars, regulars back you have, here. I mean, it's only a half stone wall, but it's a half stone wall behind you. You had an offset to your right, which I think they just abandoned. And now Knight has just walked on the case. Yeah, they completely, completely gave under their them. nose. Yep. Very good move from Knight there. He might not have the most guys with him right now, but that is uh, that's a way to leverage your numbers against a much bigger force. And, well, let's face it, they can pay for it. So. Oh, he, yeah, right he's, he's got fantastic he's shots now, just right, right, down the whole line of the EB here. I don't endorse aggressive moves, but I think they should knock out that. In fact, it looks like they're going to try, but they should get rid of that force right now, because that is a problem. I think you're right. Um, the danger is that if the CSA doesn't counter charge right now into their side, that could completely break this flank. Absolutely, yeah. But that means they have to go in. Hold here, hold rocks, and wheel. they have not, so the gamble I pays off. I don't hate what Wilkes is doing though. He can probably see what just happened ahead of him, and he knows that hey, we've got buck and ball. None of them have loads because they've just charged a unit on rocks, and they're they're all a little bit, you know, hot headed right now. <laughs> they've got a bit of adrenaline pumping from that charge, and they are actually picking them off at a at a half decent rate considering they're behind rocks. So. Not the, it's not the worst thing. Oh, uh, you know, that's that's, that's very true. Aim at the very tip of those rocks. Playing more conservatively, kind of, you know, taking your time with it a little bit. But the grass yeah. And they have the time. The, uh, yeah, absolutely. And if you look at it from the other perspective, just come down over the shoulders of, like, 2nd US 2-2 or, hey, dare I say, 5th New York, 2nd Lieutenant H. Parker. That seems like a good guy. And have a look at their angle of what they can actually see. You can't see Dick until they actually shoot back at you with that bucket ball. It's just complete darkness. And then there's a muzzle flash. So I think Wilkes is actually a lot harder to see than he realized. Yeah, I agree. Um, I guess the only thing I would wonder is, you know, what is the Union strategy at this point? Are they going to try to eat up the time here, or are they going to try to push them down a final push? Yeah, I mean, the time is not going to be... I don't think the time is going to be uh, the thing that they win on here. Unless they can somehow miraculously get into a final push and they lose a bit of uh, cohesion, or dare I say, <laughs> consolidation, then uh, <laughs> that, that might be the uh, that might be the moment that uh, the union can win. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough be it's a tough spot to be in there. What a third down for morale, maybe just over a quarter. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough end to the game here. Yeah, CSA's got at least a decent unit up here too. Who is this? JD. In an excellent position to flank right now. I, I, my, my eyes actually are in a bit of disbelief right now. Did you see the position that the second and the EB were just on? On those rocks? Uh, yes. Go, go back over to the rocks and tell me what you see on that rock. <laughs> you can kneel here. Do you see that one man? Yep, that one confederate? Who has remained crouching against the rock hidden the entire time? Uh, hold on. Private JPD. He had Union all around him and he has not moved a muscle. And they have not yet seen him. <laughs> I do not have him on my screen. Oh my god. Oh. oh, I might have to. I'll quickly. Oh, there you know? he is. You see? <laughs> yes, for CVC. They were all around that man, and he has not moved an inch since they were surrounding him. I mean, his he head is yet to his, die. I mean, his head is down. Like he's just kind of like you know, you know, like just have his head buried in his hands. Like if I don't look, they can't see me. <laughs> he is literally playing the game of I can't see you, and he is doing it well. So congratulations, you know what? Private JPD. Yeah. <laughs> He's got life figured out better than I do, because I never would have thought of doing that. That is the definition of active camouflage. I, I commend you, Private. In fact, I think you should be promoted, to be honest. Uh, Disco, have a word with that man for me. Now, with all this Hiding being... in plain sight, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's working, man. It's working. Um... Looking at the ticket lead here, I think what slight CSA maybe. Uh, j just just by a hair, yeah. And uh, I don't think that's gonna last. Looking at um, the fifth New York on the south side, no, only that's... three of them engaging JD. That's there goes one. Yep, and that's, and that's gonna count. That's gonna hurt. You can see that just dropping, and then they're gonna flood through and be able to turn the Union flank now. There's a unit up here, Ninth Corps. Might be able, well, see, it's too late. JD's already behind your lines now. Now, I think if JD were to sit on those rocks 
and start shooting and at free will to the north, northeast, or even northwest. Yeah, yeah by they uh, could do some real Mr. damage. S. Here. Parker, who I thought was Sporker, but you know. I guess he saw the light and changed his name, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, JD didn't stay there. They kind of pulled back a little bit, but we do have a fight on point now, though. They are actively capping as well. Again, JD's on the edge of cap on the rocks, and obviously the melee on point means that CFA is capping here. Yeah? And a lot of the Union has got to run all the way back to point and probably get lit up a little bit along the way by Wilkes and Co. They are capping. JD's going to intercept 9th Corps, so they will have to uh, go through JD. Here comes the Flood of Union, but now if CSA reacts and sends in a big melee, I think they'll be able to win it. Perhaps even more significantly, look at Union tickets. They are on last stand. This engagement's going to knock them down. And nine minutes on the clock? That's tough. That's very tough. They've, again, they've, they've made up pace from what I think we were talking about. Ten minutes, uh, ten minutes from Ralph's day, they've, they've done it in about another, what, five or six? They, yep, they, they're going fast. They, there's the last stand. And they will get them down to final down. push, but, uh... Looking at the last stand reinforcements, how many have we got? 30? 35? Oh my. Oh, yeah. Hit him, hit him. I really got to praise JD right now because they're the ones sitting on cap that are making this difference. Their, their, their positioning is excellent here because they're actually killing reinforcements that are coming in as well, and those reinforcements are coming in with nothing. Bear in mind they have no respawns and they're running down with nothing. Well, they can't even really fight JD effectively. The guys that are on cap have done the job and JD are there the whole time. They're even picking off the reinforcements. So we're now getting distracted on them, I might add as well. Right, face, yep, let's and go. that will be it. So, consolidate. I heard him say it. I heard it too. I heard it too. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts on this interesting Andersons. Yeah, I, th I think maybe the morale states made it look closer than it was. Um, I think CSA did pretty, pretty damn well there. Uh, I think special shout out to JD. They had pretty, pretty good positioning and the good uh, awareness of the, the point of contention that whole round um, for moving in from the woods onto the edge of the rocks. They clearly know what they're looking for to, to get on and start that cap. Um, yeah, by, all, by no means a, a bad defense by Union. I think they just got too stretched out um, and they should have probably focused on defending one more co consolidated, dare I say, pocket of the map than in defending the entire map. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I, I really uh, liked that uh, line they had. I think in the dark it really worked well for them, but um, I think they got a little bit too loose there. But um, then again, thank you to Mr. Parker. It is late. We need to send him to bed so that he can wake up today and be ready <laughs> for the day. So thanks again, Parker. Um, again, check out the Six New York. Both their YouTube channel, I will leave a link in the description, as well as the NYV. Have a good night, y'all.